Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And today we are going to discuss something very important. It's on the most, or one of the most important topics in Vedic Astrology. That's career, or at least in Kali Yuga's modern Vedic Astrology. Most of the questions are related to either career or marriage relationships. So it's very crucial that we identify uh, what what are some of the placements, some of the conjunctions, some of the uh, energies, uh, some placements by which you can actually know that this chart has a very good potential for a career. Okay, I've made many videos on career uh, combinations for wealth. I'll put them here at the end of this video. You can uh, actually watch them to get more insights. All right. So now when I talk of career here, I do not... I. I, I won't limit myself to any particular uh, stream. So, for example, this video, uh, the combinations and placements that I will tell you will work for any domain, irrespective of your um, supply chain or your domain or either you are in um, science, technology, medical or finance, any, any area, either you are a freelancer or you're a businessman, you are employed, or you have uh, multiple sources of income or maybe no source of income now, but in the future when you have. All right. And this will also work for uh, stock markets and uh, passive income, rental income for any domain. All this will work. All right. So as usual, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is in enthusiastic to know about their career. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. Now, the thing is, uh, when you see a chart for career, you really need to understand that there are certain houses which give you rise in profession, irrespective of the domain. Irrespective of the domain. which And there are certain houses which give you downfall, irrespective of the domain. Which means, which means if you are having a downfall in a particular area of your life, it doesn't mean that you just change the domain and you will become successful. It doesn't mean that. Okay. And it also to a large extent doesn't mean that uh, if you're successful in a particular domain, you would have only be successful there. You would have been a failure in any other domain. It is not like this. Why? Uh, because... The houses which give you rise in profession are the second house, sixth house, tenth house, and the eleventh house. All right, and um, these houses will work irrespective of the area. So, so if you are into YouTube and you are into, or you are into writing, yes, or you are into social media related work like advertisement and all this, or marketing, the third house. You know, so the third house doesn't make you successful. The success comes from the four houses, the second, sixth, tenth, and eleventh. The third house will only add to the flavor, right? It will tell you what kind of success is it. So many times people think, oh, my third house, the third lord is here, this planet is in third house, will I become successful? No. In the third house, the fourth house, the fifth house, the seventh house doesn't make you successful. The ninth house, twelfth house, lagna itself. The success will only come from these four houses. And this has nothing to do with the domain. The domain will give the flavor. Okay. Because you know the reason why? Because these four houses, these are artha houses. So, which means this person is blessed by God because of his or her own past karma that this person will hold a lot of assets in this world. Why? Because the second, sixth, tenth are the houses of hoarding, they are accumulation. Artha houses, where you store, okay? They are the fixed signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. They are the fixed signs where you are hold, hold, holding and you are also holding sometimes. So that's why they can be uh, not very good. They, they may not be the best houses of the Zodiac. And also Parashara says they are, they are not the, uh, I mean, Parashara does not say that Artha houses are the best, right? Uh, we all know the, Final houses, the Dharma Trikonas are the best houses of the zodiac. But but here you have to understand that the person is blessed that whatever the person does, irrespective of the domain, this person will end up storing a lot of assets. Right now, 
these assets can can come from uh, the family tradition or by his or her own efforts okay so therefore it's very crucial that you understand that first you have to see what what is going on with these four houses the second six tenth and eleven right only after that you jump into conclusions oh yeah you know maybe this person will be a painter this person will be this the person will be that if you do not judge this and you say that somebody will be uh, into IT. Well, well, yes, there are so many, there are millions of people in India, in Germany, uh, in UK, in US, Australia, they are into IT. But is everybody like uh, minting money all the time? No, not necessarily, right? So you every many people may have a good income, a decent income, but then there are some people who have extraordinary income, right? So you must check these houses. So uh, one of the best things to have is if the lords of these houses are sitting in each other's houses, for example, the 10th lord is in the 11th, 10th lord is in the 2nd, or 2nd lord is in the 6th, 10th or 11th, 11th lord is in the 2nd, 6th or 10th. This is the best thing to have. Now, you have to distinguish the power of these houses. The second house gives you uh, money to eat. Okay, It is that much money that you have to sustain yourself and a family. Your husband, wife, mother, father, children, maybe grandchildren. So it is basically uh, the money with which you can feed a family because second house is also family, right? And that's like the basic money house because that shows uh, how much wealth you have, okay? Maybe you can feed a thousand families. You can feed a million families or a billion families. So that is what is... Uh, the second house all right and yes i forgot to say if you want a career consultation from me regarding your horoscope you can also go to my website down in the description section now the thing is that's the second house but what is the sixth house sixth house shows sixth house is more powerful than the second house second house is bare minimum sustenance it's bare minimum survival okay but the sixth house shows um that talent which you have which you can put day in and day out every day without fail so that leads to a greater level of success okay so therefore sixth house shows uh, it's like a daily job something which you do daily which doesn't only pays uh, for your food but it pays for your rent and your living and uh, all your uh, basic desires all right so uh, second, as they say, roti, kapra, makan. So uh, the roti is from the second house. Kapra and makan is from the sixth house, right? Um, now, then we go to the tenth house. Okay, so second house is like basic minimum sustenance. Sixth house shows some skill that you have, which you can apply daily with discipline and uh, hard work, right? Now, what is tenth house? Tenth house means... You work in such a way which does not only end up impacting you or your family, but it ends up impacting other people also, like managerial positions. What, what you decide will end up affecting your subordinates, your juniors, right? And 10th house also shows work which makes you uh, very much liked by people. Like not necessarily uh, in terms of appearance, but, but in general, your work is really liked by so many, okay? So... So if uh, the more the planets in the 10th house, the better it is for profession because then you have more recognition, okay? And 10th house also shows that uh, you are very skillful because uh, Mercury is the Karaka for the 10th house, okay? So Mercury is the primary Karaka for the 10th house. So if you really want to earn good money, have a great profession, then you need to become skillful. It's just all you need, okay? Now, of course... We have Sun as the Karaka. Sun shows name, fame. Then we have uh, Saturn. Saturn shows perseverance, tenacity, tolerance. Um, and then we have the 11th house, right? 11th house, they say, is three times more powerful than the 10th house. So if the 10th lord is in 11th, 11th lord in the 10th, extraordinary. So the 11th house is the most powerful among all the four because it's the labhasthan, it's the gain, it's the fulfillment of desire. So... If a planet is in the 11th and provided the nakshatra lord is not in a bad dignity, then it is said that whatever the person desires is fulfilled. So therefore, the 11th house is very crucial because you need to see what is going on with the 11th house and how many planets are linked with the 11th house. What do I mean when I say how many planets are linked with the 11th house? Well, 
Now you have to see which planet is lording the eleventh house. Okay, so if Mars is lording the eleventh house, for example, and then you have like four or five planets in the chart, which are sitting anywhere, but they are uh, in Mars ruled nakshatras. Okay, so maybe you have many planets which are sitting in Mercury nakshatra. Okay, or you know Kitta nakshatra, for example. So then you know that uh, these nakshatras they are ruled by Mars, so they they can give you things like uh, um, fulfillment of desire because the nakshatra lord of these planets, which is Mars, is the eleventh lord. So whenever the eleventh house is linked by nakshatra, it shows immense wealth and success. Okay, so you have to see in the horoscope is most of the planets are they somehow linked with the Tenth uh, house or the eleventh house, either by planetary placement, or are they linked via the nakshatras? Okay, so maybe you have five planets which are sitting in nakshatras of uh, Rahu, for example. So Rahu rules Satabisha. Okay, it rules Swati. Okay, so maybe you have five planets sitting in Ra Satabisha and Swati nakshatra. And maybe Rahu is sitting himself in the eleventh house. All right. So the nakshatra lord is in the eleventh. So similar, similar thing. Earlier condition, it was like Mars was ruling the eleventh. Now the nakshatra lord is sitting in the eleventh. Okay. And also, of course, uh, if the trinal lords are linked with this, then it's like even better. The trinal lords show things which come very easily by grace. Okay. So if the fifth lord or the ninth lord is in the money houses, all right. Now uh, the second, sixth, tenth, and eleventh. Then also it shows you get you can gain money through uh, through much relatively easier means. Okay, it's like outside settlement. Okay, outside court settlement, as they say. <laughs> That's what the trines represent. So these are some of the combinations. And of course, if the ascendant is also linked with this, then uh, it is like uh, extraordinary. Why? Because now. These things are not coming. You yourself, you are acting and you are improving, or you are going and getting the things like Lagna Lord in tenth, Lagna Lord in eleventh, Lagna Lord in second, Lagna Lord in sixth. Then you know that these are not just coming by destiny. These are coming by destiny, and also in this life you are putting a lot of hard work. All right. So therefore, all the lords of these houses are sitting in the Lagna. Okay, the Lord of the second, sixth, tenth, or eleventh. Then also you know that. Uh, these that this horoscope is very powerful when it comes to profession, and of course you need to check the primary karakas for the tenth house. Mercury number one, always check Mercury. Where where is Mercury sitting? What is he lording? And where is the nakshatra lord of Mercury placed? You must check all these. Okay, then you need to check Sun because he's the karaka for name and fame. Okay, where is he placed? What is he doing? Where is the nakshatra lord of the Sun placed? Okay. That will give you clues to uh, how much pain will the person have. Okay, Mercury will tell you how much skill the person has, but having skill necessarily won't make you famous. Necessarily won't. But if you have fame, then skill is a prerequisite. Okay, you will see many people who are skillful, but uh, they don't become famous. But you will very rarely find somebody who is very famous but is not skillful. Okay, and when I say fame, I don't mean their father or mother is a millionaire or a billionaire or a superstar. I mean famous by their own efforts. Okay, and they are not skillful. Very rarely it happens. Okay, and then you have to see, of course, the karaka from the Dashamsha chart, which is Saturn himself, because Saturn shows how much, Saturn is the karaka for the sixth house, right, and also for the tenth house. So. Saturn shows how much, uh, how can you handle subordinates? Sun shows how can you handle seniors, right? And Mercury shows how can you handle your equals, your colleagues, your competitors sometimes. So if you want a good profession, then you will always have subordinates. You will always have equals. You will always have you know, superiors. Now, if you are having a business, you may claim that, oh, yeah, yeah I am the CEO of my own company, right? But then you will be answerable to the investors, you know, the venture capitalists, uh, the clients, then so many others. So nobody in this world can claim that they are free and um, they don't have a boss, all right? This is just an illusion. So therefore, once you check all this, then, then you see, so these factors will work independent of any profession, as I said, okay? Or any type of profession also. 
and then you go to the dashas okay so then when you check the dashas do you see are these combinations repeating in these uh, dashas or not especially the upcoming mahadasha so if a person is in 20s you need to check uh, his upcoming 40 years right till the time he is 60 at least and uh, if you see that uh, somebody is getting a great dasha when the person is in 60s then maybe that person will rise only after 60s okay uh, moment uh, like uh, humongous rise will be there only after 60s but till 60 the person will have average career now if, if it happens that um, the person has many combinations but uh, in the dashas uh, the opposite combinations are coming opposite in the sense not empty but combinations which cause downfall like the 8th house and the 12th house okay if they are coming, then the person will be very skillful, but due to some reason or the other, the person will not be able to exert himself or herself fully and the person will not become famous, okay? So don't go by things like, oh, sun is exalted, you'll be famous, or, you know, sun is in the 10th house, you'll be famous. Maybe the nakshatra lord of the sun, which is in the 10th, is in the 8th or the 12th. So you are miserable and you are having court cases to the government, right? So... Therefore, once you see all this, then you have to also see the Dashamsha chart. The Dashamsha chart will tell you what is the flow of the chart. All right. So there you must check Saturn. Where is Saturn place? He is the Karaka for the D10 chart. And you also need to check where are the Lagna Lords place. The Lagna Lord of D1, where is he in the D10? And the Lagna Lord of D10, where is he in the D10? And also you need to check where is he in D1. All right. The Lagna Lord of D10 in D1. All right. So... You need to check all these parameters and then when you analyze all this, you get a good impression. Yes, this person, this is the level of, that this person will reach. Then next is you recommend, oh, you go into IT, you go into finance, you go into medical, you go into you know engineering, you go into artificial intelligence, you go into machine learning, you go into stock market, whatever it is, right? But without these combinations and placements, you will never or very rarely find any chart which is very successful, like very, 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 very successful. It's like the 0.01% of the public, the crowd. All right. Thank you very much. And you can see some other videos on wealth and career prosperity here. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And my consultation web page is also down below. Okay. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with those who are interested to know about the strength of their career all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him